meat, not blue. <laughs> you incompetent fools. I cannot trust you with the simplest of tasks. All right. Then work this to our advantage. Somebody messed up royally. Because we don't have Sonic. We know. Okay, I will say this. That I will say one positive thing about the Deadly Six. Um, well, for, for starters, I, I don't mind the designs. I think the designs are fine. But, like, m beyond that, uh, I think the I think the voices are fairly decent. I, like, Xena's, like, Xena's a bit too much hehe <laughs> girl voice kind of thing. But, uh, I mean, they're all, like, really stereotypical, but... I don't mind the a lot of the voices. Uh, I think Master Z, uh, Zik or Zeke or how you say it, and Zavok have probably the best voice voices of the bunch. Um, yeah, voice-wise, that's definitely outside of maybe Xena. They the voices are not really my issue with them. So, in terms of voice performance and all that, like that stuff is all fine. Yeah, this is basically just Windy Hill Act 3? Again, but just icy and more difficult, so... The penguin boss from... Was it Sonic... Sonic 3, I think? Yeah, this... This soundtrack's really... Okay, just flowing container. Um, this soundtrack's really weird because... It has a lot of tracks that are really good. You want to not do that. Um, but it also has a, like, a decent handful of tracks that are just kind of there. Like, it's, like, this theme is very, like, atmospheric, but, like, you're not really gonna <laughs> see me go out and listen to this in my own time. Like, yeah. Just kind of exists otherwise. <laughs> I've actually been getting quite a lot of the red rings. That's uh, surprising. Because I didn't really get many of them in the other games. In the LPs, I should stress. Because <laughs> I, in my own time, I have like gotten all, all of the red rings in pretty much all of these games. At least the console versions. I've I've never done that for like the handheld entries. I might... I might try that when I stream these games in the uh, in the future, but I who knows. Speaking of handheld, oh good. Speaking of handheld entries, the 3DS version of this game is uh, interesting. Uh, I don't know if I want to say good or bad because I haven't played it in years, but like it's not exactly the most popular. <laughs> um, and I oh good. I definitely re remember it being worse than the Wii U version by quite a large margin, but, uh, yeah, it, the only things, the things I remember about Lost World 3DS are the fact that, like, it does its gimmicks, okay, okay, um, it does its gimmicks a lot more than uh, the Wii U version, as, in the sense of, like, a lot of the stages really want to want to uh, use a specific gimmick for like the whole stage like there's one in Frozen Factory where you need to uh, guide a bunch of balls into holes and then like this there's, there's like this female snowball chasing you the whole time and it takes like 30 minutes to beat the stage and stuff like that like the thing okay two okay a couple a few things I remember the, 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 like, the uh, overabundance of, like, random gimmicks and stuff like that. Uh, that kind of just get annoying more than anything. And then you have the levels in Lost World 3DS, which, from what I remember, after Windy Hill Zone, the levels go on for a freaking eternity. It would make Sonic Heroes blush. No, forget that. It would make Eggman Land blush. And... Yeah, we're at the point where we... <laughs> Have to grind. Oh my god. Uh, 
And the battery is about to run out on the gamepad. Woo! I'll say this, I... I would love a... a port of this game on Switch or something. Or like just modern consoles in general because it's uh not great having to play on this bulky thing. Like I know there's a oh good, I know there's a PC version, but that's also a lot harder t to me to record. Um, um, so it would definitely be nice if there was a port of this game for Switch or PS4, Xbox, and all that. They don't even need to like upscale or do a colors ultimate. Just re-release the game, and then just that's it. What the heck is this? Yeah, the 3DS version is interesting. It does have a hard mode as well, which I remember that being an absolute ball ache, but you know. You want to get into the. Ugh. Damn it. That was awful. <laughs> I don't mind these circus mini games. I just wish you could control them without the freaking stylus. And we're not getting anywhere close to the amount of um, animals we need. All these like crazy effects going on and all the animals flying out. Get that. Oh, right. I forgot about this. You can get like Orbot and Cubot to show up sometimes. I don't know if that. I don't know if that's just like specific balloons they pop out of, or they just appear if you're doing good enough. I don't really under I don't really know how these things work. Alright, cool. Now we can now we can move on. Oh, okay, this is this is an interesting level. I like that you can do just do that. Use the use the D-pad to just quickly go through the stages. I'm so fast and stuff. Ugh, makes me sick. Time to knock him down a peg. Okay, and I do remember this all being in 2D as well. I recall this being one of the trickier levels, but we'll see how that turns out. Because, like, there's a lot of just tight platforming and whatnot here. And some fairly well-hidden secrets. Like this. Yep. Um, yeah. Nice little, little um, shortcut. I like that. Oh, um, yeah, the <laughs> checkpoint starvation as well.
Oh, let's try this again. Tiny platforms. Like one of the, okay, one other thing I guess there is to mention that I, I don't think I've brought up yet. You can if you like just hold down the run button while you're just standing still. You do like a like a super pale out animation. It does like make your it does like speed you up for like w when you like charge out fully and you let like just run into in a direction, but it's it's kind of worthless. Like you don't really there's no there's never really a, a reason to use that. Cool. And these guys from Casino Night. I feel like something like, like that would have uh, been better for if, if this game had a ranking system, but that's fine. Okay, this is like the most elaborate course for the Drill Wisp in the whole game, I think. And it's... Eh, I'm not the biggest fan of this. It kind of just slows the pace down. I do remember like the 3D... The 3DS version especially had... Um, a lot of moments where you, you were kind of forced to use the color power. Um, like there was one in Tropical Coast, I think the level's called, uh, that where you had to, you know, okay, you know how in Tropical Coast in, in this game, this version, like, you could go underwater in 3D. That's basically what the section in the 3DS version is, but it's, ma it's mandatory and it's basically a life or death situation uh, where like it's fairly precise and if you if you basically mess up at any point you just have to start yeah you just have to let, let the game kill you and uh, just you know start over it's uh, the 3ds version has some weird design and it's like can I just go through one of these? Yeah. And you have the Sandopolis callback. Is there a secret for this? Yes. Nice. this right, I get spike ball to the fa- okay, screw it. I, I, think that the, I think there's a way you can like just parkour your way just up up there and not worry about any of this, but I don't know exactly how to do that right, so let's just do this normally. Alright. Fairly long stage as well. in the background or whatever is going on. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was bad. Okay. Uh... Massive jump. How the hell would you do that normally? Do I, am I supposed to like 
go there from a different angle. I think I'm intended to go... Yeah, I think I'm intended to go from here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. Smiling hurts my face. When I hurt your face, it'll make me smile. So in the end, I'll just be hurting myself. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that, I do. I do remember this. This uh, level being as long as it was. Also, can this guy not? Oh my god, I'm getting destroyed out here. We should be at the end. Yep. Okay. Another pointless conflict is about to begin. This is the hell the most difficult boss ever. Only the Reaper wins in the end. That was so hard, man. I can't believe it. Oh, okay, we just no cut soon. So yeah, this is another. This is what I was talking about. How like they just they just reused the freaking Windy Hill uh, design, and it's just like for the second to last world, like main world of the game, you'd think they'd do something a bit more unique than that. This way, I guess. Very maze-like design here. I'll go that way. <sighs> I'm surprised that worked. That did not look right. Oh well. Any of these? I do, I do enjoy killing the, these guys in one hit, it's fairly satisfying. Yeah. You wanna not... these pranks. Yeah, I'm not really sure there's much else to say about this game at this point. Okay, let's try it. Good. I just didn't know there was a hole there. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. Right. I noticed that popping.
I will say this, at least the le the other levels for Sky Road have unique designs, like, I don't know if it's just Sky Road Act 1 that's, like, Windy Hill inspired. I guess we'll see. It's... It doesn't... Now, now that I think about it, Sky Road doesn't really have a distinct theme, it kind of... Oh, right, I forgot those things were timed. Uh, it doesn't really have a distinct theme, it kind of just changes, um, it's, like design with every stage. And I know like the like the, the levels in this game like they've done like a bunch of like stuff like that throughout the game but Skyroad specifically just doesn't have a dis like distinctive theme. Other than Sky, I guess. <laughs> But like the the point is though like with the other levels like Windy Hill Desert Ruins uh, Frozen Factory or whatever it's called um, Silent Forest like they all they they have like the odd odd one out levels like the des desert ruins cause the casino stage stuff like that but you can you can like uh, you know there's like you know what the general, like, what, what am I saying? You know what the normal theme of the world is supposed to look like? There's, like, a specific identity that you know the level, like, the world as, if you will. Whereas Sky Road just kind of doesn't have a distinct identity. It just kind of does something different with every level, with each of its four levels. Which, I guess, in a way, can be considered a good thing. But it also just doesn't have the same, like, distinctive, like, this is what the level's supposed to be, as the other worlds do. If that makes any sense whatsoever. If we don't find your friend, can I be your sidekick? What? Shut up! What kind of question is that? I didn't mean anything by it. I just thought it might be better to work for you than Eggman. Hello, I'm sitting right here, you know. Warbot, no matter what happens, I won't fail again. I will save Tails! It's stuff like that that makes me want to be your sidekick. Tails is lucky. Seriously, I'm right here. I can still hear you. <sighs> Alright. This is a cool level. I like this one. Yeah, seriously, this just looks like the cutscene where they, uh, where, like, the, uh, first show off the Deadly Six or whatever. That, that's how, like, this is just, w <laughs> Sky Road is just Windy Hill Act, like, Windy Hill Part 2. Um, but yeah, just glossing over that cutscene, cutscene there. Um, yeah. Another instance of, like, yeah, it's good good ideas like having Tails get captured and like were they gonna turn him into a robot and all that. Good. Uh, good good ideas. It makes the Deadly Six like actually a threat with oh my god why am I bad? Uh, with uh, actually a threat with what they're trying to do. The problem is that like I mean we'll see it later but like they don't really do much with it. I am failing horribly right now. Um, yeah they don't really do anything with it. And it, it's, they do the villain cliche where it's just like, oh, I'm gonna leave while the, this machine's gonna turn you into a robot, and you totally won't do anything to make it not work. And, uh, so you, I mean, that that's, I, I guess, like, villain stereotypes like that, fine, fair enough, but, like, you'll see it later on, but, like, I'm terrible at the game, and you'll see me die constantly. But no, <laughs> um, what I was going to say is that the, um, I know, you, you'll, you'll see later on, but like, it's just such a cop-out. 
it's like this game has again th this game story has so many cool ideas but it just gets cold feet and just they needed again I said it multiple times at this point but the they needed better writers or like writers that actually knew what they were doing with Sonic because it's just all over the place and it just makes me an it is like man it just makes me upset <laughs> Okay. Yeah, my the issue I'm having at this stage, other than the fact that I'm bad, is that the um, it's very easy to just kind of have the spin dash, kind of just get flung to the end of like these like dragon things. So, okay. Yeah, I like this. I like this level because it's like one of the more challenging 2D uh, segments, and it has some. Very fun, like, stage, um, uh, whatchamacallit, very, very fun stage obstacles, especially with, like, these lasers and all that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's not very long as well, like, this is actually one of the shorter levels in the game, but it's... I do think it makes up for that with its just sheer difficulty. And I, I'm also just playing really poorly right, right now, but you know, it is what it is. And we're right at the bus. Yeah. <laughs> Extremely short stage. Now, I will say this. Going back to the 3DS version for a second. I, I, from what I remember, I do actually remember the... Um, that That's a good sentence. From what I remember, I do remember or whatever. That's a good sentence. But like, no. What, what I was going to say is that... I vaguely remember the bosses in that game being a lot more elaborate and uh, a lot more difficult. I actually remember the bosses in hard mode giving me a lot of trouble, but yeah. I Maybe I'll be singing a different tune if I played it now, but I do remember the bosses in the 3DS version being better. Like, I remember the, I think the Zavok fight, you're kind of just flying in the air, dodging the, like, lasers and stuff, it's kind of, it's kind of funky. Very fitting music, guys. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a um what should we call it? I'm, I'm pretty sure there's supposed there is supposed to be a uh secret level in Sky Road. I don't understand these levels, dude. <laughs> They're just so weird. And I just completely missed that, okay. Yeah, I got nothing. I don't know, like... These levels... Uh, actually, no. Th 
I guess, fair enough, like, Tails is out of the picture, so we, we can't have the tornado here, but... The, these levels just feel like a weird experiment, experimental version of, like, Sky Chase or something. Like, I don't know, it's just... I, I, I really don't know what to make of this. This game is just so weird. <laughs> I guess that's kind of the point, but like... It does kind of feel directionless sometimes. And now for another thing that the game doesn't tell you about. You know, if you do this, you can not knock his uh, missiles back at him. You'd think that would hurt you, but like, no. Oh, timer, okay. Oh, okay, the level just ends. <laughs> And we need more animals. Okay, so I do kind of want to stop uh, now, but I guess before I do that, I may as well get enough animals to actually access the level. Right. If I'm good enough, I should be able to just... I should be able to- Oh, I, I, I like this detail. Uh, Tails is not with us anymore, so we're using Cubo instead. I like that. But, yeah. Yeah, I think- Yeah, I think it, it might be the fact, like, you need to just hit specific balloons to get other characters. Oh no. I'm not gonna pretend I know how the how these ten mini games work. Yeah. Okay. Well I know that was a short session but I kind of need to eat <laughs> so I'm just gonna stop it here but yeah next time we'll definitely be finish up, finishing up the game and uh, yeah it'll be great so yeah I'll see you guys next time for the finale of uh, Lost World bye bye <laughs>